So nobody's going to hear a pop or anything. They, um, we have to expand it, make it make it be like a balloon, so that we can see all the components of the stomach. So we'll rinse. That's just a little bit of feed debris that's still left, and we'll rinse that off later on and make sure. Some of the time, ulcers will hide underneath that as well. Um, so we'll, we'll rinse all that off, but like I said, we like to go and, and look down at the pylorus to begin with. So you actually did a really good job of, of uh, preparation. So, all right, go ahead and stop, Steve. Hold it on right there. So this, this, this is the more glandular part. It's not as red as some of the other stomachs uh, that we see, but it's a nice healthy pink. We'll get some of that foam and everything off. So this is the part here. This is actually bottom, because uh, we know that gravity works and fluid is on the bottom. But some of the time our camera is at different angles, so I've learned to stand on my head and look at these and be <laughs> fine. So this is the top part of the stomach, the squamous epithelium, where we've traditionally seen ulcers. And then we're gonna go ahead and look down here and, uh, and go there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride this Margo all the way around, so if you'll advance it, uh, just keep going in. I'm going to try and, and stay on the top side of this. Go ahead. Get pretty steady. Pretty steady. All right, so what we're doing is we're sliding down. Go ahead and advance it pretty quick. Yep, we're sliding down and making a circle. All right, hold on. Let me see where I'm at. Because there we are at the pylorus shelf. And hold on. We're going to go ahead and see the pylorus here in just a second. Actually, probably too close to the pylorus. There we are, there's the pylorus. Go ahead and advance it in while we have the pylorus right here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, go ahead and advance it. All right, so now we're in the upper part of the small intestine. Stop. Steve, we'll go ahead and take a picture. All right, so this is the small intestine. Go ahead and take a picture. Actually, here I'm going to freeze it, so go ahead and take a picture when I freeze. So, uh, this is the duodenum, a little bit of bile juice and some, some acid that's still in there. The important thing to know about this is it's not actually 100% one way. Some of those during digestions and, and the contractions of the stomach, some of that bile fluid will actually be expelled back into the stomach. And that's kind of like a big detergent uh, where it breaks down some, some fats and, and things. And it's pretty acidic as well. So we should kind of, the, the bile ducts kind of right about there. Some of the time we'll see them leaking bile fluid, which horses don't have a gallbladder, so it's constantly discharged into there. And we're just having a quick tour to see uh, if there's anything in there, which there isn't. So go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and come back. What's gonna happen is you're gonna take all the slack out of that and it's not gonna move for a while, but then when it moves, it's gonna move quite a bit. So, but what we want to do is stop kind of right inside the uh, pylorus if we can and get a good look at that. So go ahead and, and withdraw. Um, so go a little slower. Yep. So getting all the slack out, we're getting a little bit of that fluid. Quite a bit. All right, hold on. Hold up right there. Come back just a tad bit more. So what happens is you actually straighten things out. Sometimes it goes a little bit further than you want. All right, go ahead and come on back because I think we're, we're too far back in this. Come on. All right, hold up. Underwater still. Go ahead and come on back. It's real easy to get too far. All right, hold on. Let's see where we're at. Yep, we're at the top again, which is what normally happens. This time we're looking straight up to the top part of the stomach. Go ahead and advance it in again. We want to get down there by the pylorus and uh, take a take a good look. Hold on. Let's clear this off. All right, go ahead. 
go ahead. All right, hold up. Let's see if there's some pictures. Yep. All right, hold on. Advance it a little bit more. Yep, keep going. there. So and that looks pretty healthy. Um, a lot of times, actually when I was with Connie in Texas not too long ago, we had a ton of horses that actually had pyloric ulcers. Um, and we're right up against the stomach wall because it's contracted on us and she's saying that we're hungry. <laughs> can't see much. So go ahead and pull back a little bit. We did get a, a quick little view there, which I'm, I'm okay with. But when you're too close to the stomach wall, you just can't see anything. All right, hold up. A little bit. All right, oh, go back in a little bit. All right, right back in. Clear all the bubbles off. Go ahead and flush a little bit of water off that because this area right here I kind of kind of speculate on. I kind of down the blue hole. Yep. Go ahead and plug that in, and, and if you don't get it in the right hole, it you can spray all of us. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Now you need pressure. Hang on. Let's back to where we can see. All right. Go ahead and blast. It. bit more. So that's a little bitty abnormality there. Um, I think there's a little bitty abnormality on that other side as well. Somebody's hungry. discoloration to it. Um, those are those are folds as well, but they can they're definitely a little bit raised. There's no discoloration, so that's probably very, very good. Alright, I think I've seen enough. We're, we're right at the food level where we're not having much opportunity. Let's go ahead and pull back. Um, we'll, we'll come up to the top again and then we'll start flushing some more off. Well, historically, it's the, the original ulcers and the original studies were looking at the top part of the stomach, and that had a lot to do with the equipment at the time. Uh, come back a little bit more. All right, that's fine. Go ahead and flush some steam. So they, they had more, put some pressure to it. 
they had more uh, human type systems. They were more rigid fiber scopes. Yeah. Put some good pressure on it. There you go. Um, at the time, and, and that was the area that we could see. We didn't get down toward the pylorus yeah. like we do nowadays. So there's actually a lot of research going into looking at the lower part of the stomach to, to see because the ulcers don't look the same in the lower part of the stomach. Uh, they don't behave the same. That's good. But this is nice and clean and, and all right here on what we call the Margo Placatus. Good. there. So what we really look at is this dividing line here between the two. Um, you've got a little bit of yellow discol discoloration there. A lot of it washed off. Yeah. But, uh, but if there's a lot of yellow there, a lot of times that's staining. Go ahead and insert the scope, advance the scope forward. And some of the time you can't see all of it unless you get up close. So hold on. Closer you get, so like this is a little irregularity to the Margo. It's not too bad. I probably wouldn't. I'm not gonna say a whole lot about that. Is the only thing that we see. Yeah. Gonna advance the scope a little bit. Okay. Hold on. Gonna get a picture of that. I always like to look at the esophagus. Some of the time we'll do some ulcers around the esophagus. That's the lower esophageal sphincter on the way in to the stomach and of course this area here is is always a area that you can find ulcers and irregularity to the to the margo Placatus because that's the lowest part which is normally going to the pylorus and is normally bathed in acid all the time so it has the most exposure the most opportunity but i'm not seeing anything other than a slight yellow discoloration to really say that she's having too many issues. And then we looked up at the top just to, to be thorough. Really not much going on yeah. there either. So I'd say that you're not too bad. You haven't used any prevention or anything on it? Go ahead and pull back. The only thing she's yes. guard ones heavily. Well, well maybe, maybe when she came back from NC State. She's my own guard. That was May of 2015. No, not not too bad. Not too bad. So let's go ahead and um, we'll deflate the stomach at this point in time. Plug that in. There. Top right. So I look dorsal when I deflate, and as soon as I start to see the fluid come into the view, I go ahead and turn that off and start pulling the tube out.